Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Hey folks, it's time for the conference semifinals of the NBA playoffs in between the matchups of Eastern Conference and Western Conference. This time, I'm about to be telling you with another two guys that will be commentating here for this game. This time, Mephone is here, along with the other crew that will be joining us here for tonight will be Paintbrush. And on alongside is Silver Spoon, taking on for the Sixers and Heat. I will be here for the next game of the Bucks and Celtics here at Fiserv.forum. So, that will be coming up later here for the next game. Once this first game is over. And then we will head you down over to Celtics and Bucks at Pfizer.forum. Meanwhile, the other games that we have here is that we got Grizzlies and Warriors rematching each other. And the last game is the Suns and Jazz. And without further ado, guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the game for the second game of the conference semifinals of the night. Spangled Banner has already been honored to all the people. And now, it's time to head into the game. Stick around later after this. so much for joining here at the FTX Arena, as along with me, Paintbrush, and Silver Spoon, this is NBA Playoffs of the Conference Semifinals in the Eastern Conference, and our sideline will be DA. DA is all yours. Kevin, thank you. Last season, Bam Adebayo signed that five-year max extension, the richest contract in Miami Heat franchise history. He said of this team, they're going to push you no matter what. Whether you've got $160 million or you've got $1.5, we all get treated the same. That's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Thank you very much, dear DA. It's a wonderful lifetime. And you know, but the rest of our group was always in determination. I always say that this was an excellent timing to see how this turned out. Even great soon, just like Paintbrush would ever say. I had some, a lot of a great impressions here for the Miami Heat. As they already moved on to the uh, conference finals, they were about to take on against the winning team. And yes, that was right. The real time was the Heat putting out the pressure to stop Game 6 on Philadelphia here. And oh boy, what a lifetime legendary this turned out. How do you think this game is going to turn out for, next, for the NBA 2K? I think this is going to be very uh, difficult to make the challenging decision. And because of whatever happens right now, there's a chance that there might be somebody out here and might be going for it all alone. So, we're going to need to see what happens if there's a change up here. So here are the starting five groups here. We have Bam Adebayo on center. Then it's Duncan Robinson and the shooting guard. Jimmy Butler in small forward. Kyle Lowry here at the point guard. And P.J. Tucker in point forward. And we're going to start at the 2K. Lowry taking the two. This will be the first two-pointer for Kyle Lowry for game two tonight. And just like he did here before, Kyle Lowry is a, is a very one of the greatest players here since he had played with the Raptors. Now it's his time to get right through it. The goaltending was whistled here on Bam Adebayo as they will count the bucket here for two. Here's Lowry. 
Only scored a couple of his run here in the first game, and now he has a couple ones here for the second game. Now he finds Robinson. Rolls back to Lowry. Hard and on him. He swings it off to Butler. Butler scoots inside. That two-pointer gets off the way. That's what's going to be a very hard defender. They got a great numbers out there. They have something else to do to go right from the paint. You got to go find the man, and then when the man is on you, it can be very hard to try to stop you down. Tucker almost lost the ball, but he recovers it. Now swings to Hanabayo. Butler outside. Fades rolls up to Duncan Robinson. Rolls over to Bam Hanabayo. Shot clock to six. And his shot, no good for Anabayo. The Anabayo was like the only man that was here for all of his lifetime. That was going to able to help him to try to carry out their score, the big victim on the attack, and that might be the very hard thing that you could ever trust is keeping his eyes on open. Bam Anabayo right to the corner. Swings back to Butler. Now Anabayo will help him out to make the screen. Butler swings inside, gets a good drive, and Butler gets his first bucket in game two. You could feel that Jimmy Butler was going to uh, make that one attack. He knew he was going to get there just in time before, before the deflection. Fly ball, wow, look at that. That was the, just another one. The slam down. You know that was going to be able to be a close one. I have never seen what the slam dunk can do for Matisse Feibel. At that point, it can be very tricky. All of over, it felt great. And that was your slam cam by AT&T 5G. Larry vicious off to Duncan Robinson. Their team is trailing by two. Little fight in between here. P.J. Tucker up. Over Tobias Harris is good. Now he has his first bucket. It's now tied again. They're all going back to back. There's so many changes that they are going for, and they got something else to do from here. And we got a jam pack out there. Tobias Harris leaping it out through. Man, that was tough. Robinson swings off to Lowry. Lowry just back to Robinson. Back to Lowry. Over Harden. That's a good feed by Duncan Robinson. He has his first assist and a second bucket on Lowry. That's a great play in between those two. Duncan Robinson got a great communication out there. And the first whistle calls on B.J. Tucker. That will be his first personal first team foul on Miami. Joel and Bean will have to be able to make the go to the free throw line and shoot two. And that was a very hard hustle here because if James Harden was dishing it off to uh, M.B., he knew he was going to get there just in time. But in all that case, it matters. He was way off. All of a sudden, because the defenders were right on him, and they were picking him up here very badly. Badly on the run, it can be very uh, tricky for him. Now this might be another one to try to keep an eyes on. And each shot is good in the first free throw. New changes are being released here for Sixers and Miami. Three players comes out, and Korkmaz, Green, and Yang is checked in. Meanwhile, the other hand is four players are checked out. Robinson goes off, and Jimmy Butler will move over to point four. The second free throw for Joel Embiid is good. Miami trailing by two. Hero dishes off to, to Oladipo on the outside. And let's not forget about Victor Oladipo. He is the one single shooter that he has been playing here for a longer time here in this NBA. First, he went to the Rockets in the midseason, but then, before the midseason ended, he decided to give it off to the, to the Heat instead. Wow, what a rejection here by Jimmy Butler, and that was the take of Mobile One Block. Now Miami Heat's got a great player out there. Nice rejection. Butler can go for another attack and wants to do things again. Now Butler is checked out. Along with Joel Embiid, it will be Paul Millsap checking in. Struss is checked in, and Martin moves over. Niang in the corner. Back to Korkmaz. A little depot on cover. Millsap comes in with the screen. Niang out in front. 
Goes right to Millsap. Five to shoot for Philadelphia. They need to get some shots right in there. A terrific uh, D. And it will dish it back to Harden. Hero on cover. The screen is on Korkmaz. No, Niang, I'm sorry. And this rebound, and oh boy, Korkmaz up for three. That's good. That was a first three-pointer for Mark Perkin Korkmaz. Korkmaz was going to deliver it for a three because that was all he had. Nobody was there. Nobody was picking up the rebounds, and that was all they had. Struess makes the three, and it ties the game up. Now, here's Hardy. 20 seconds left to play in the first period. Hero on him. He slows down. Oh, he got rimmed up again. And another bad, bad defensive breakdown turns to be Miami. You're not going to slow down. You're not going to think about it. You've got to get right through it, and you've got to make it there in time. Or else, otherwise, the other man can be inside with an easy drive. The rebound was picked up by Niang. And that will be the end of the first quarter of the period. It's 15-13, Philadelphia leading by two. And we'll take a quick break here when we come back, right after this. Second quarter about to begin. It's a 15-13 right lead here for Philadelphia. Last time we have already saw that it was the very toughest game here in the night. All that happens because of Miami Heat was a pressure to take the inbound, and they always knew that they have already lost against the against the Milwaukee Bucks last season here for the NBA playoffs. How do you guys think that uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo did better than Jimmy Butler, guys? Well, I know that the Greek freak of uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo was going to get there right inside, but I always found out that, uh, that most of the players are getting some good average here on the inbound. It was very tough for him to try to uh, keep the guys in the strength, but it was very hard to try to make them pay for of what they had. And because of that, Giannis Antetokounmpo would have like, seen uh, Jimmy Butler here playing in if the team wins here in the conference semifinals. And I would have picked here here too because I know that it was very tough to try to make that shot a difficult comeback on the throw. Now I have some uh, some changes in mind that it could be very uh, tricky to try to well work things up a bit. Millsap, oh my goodness, he made a wraparound. That was a tough shot here, and that was another slam dunk for Philadelphia. Philadelphia is putting another great uh, defensive on the drive. They have a lot of stuff going on. They gotta they gotta try to bang it out of here. Bam on the fire! Oh, he took the dunk. And that was Victor Oladipo with the assist. What a jam out there. Bam on a bio was going to leave it to the source and put up the limit. Yes, guys, limit, of course. Now I hope he's new. But Bam on a bio is like a tough Maya high average. Mark and Cookmans delivers it off again. And we got a timeout going on for Miami with 3.32 left to go. It is a very tough defensive breakdown, and we got some a lot of our coverage here that want to make some new changes. There's so many others to come when we come back. New grouping substitution here for the Miami Heat and for the Sixers. As we changed the camera here, since the broadcast was no good up there, we decided to keep it, the 2K on here. Yeah, it's a good idea. I know it was very that tough, but I know that most of the guys don't have complained about the about the uh, camera situation here. It can be a very difficult changeup, but they wanted to go for it again. Otherwise, it might be very tough to to find out if someone has a rebound in here. Can be tricky. Robinson on Harris and beat on Butler. Only three minutes to play here in the first half of the game. Oh, Butler revenges on Jimmy Butler. And that was another slam dunk for the Philadelphia. That was very intense how this goes out. Joel Embiid is not going to stop. He's never going to slow down. Robinson reads off to Butler. Butler spin move. What a take. And Butler gets his second bucket. Easy drive. Easy go. This is what uh, Jimmy Butler has gone into here so far. Embiid inside. Takes another shot. And he gets another one basket here, and it's now 
they're going to start waking up at that point because there is so many other players that might be having a hard time to keep it right on the money. Butler reaches back over to Robinson. Robinson reaches off to Lowry. Five to shoot. Hero outside, off short, very late, and he was ready to go here for the three-pointer. And a bad rejection of the alley oop, went unsuccessful. Hero, backing over is Robinson, dish off to Butler. Under two minutes left to play here in the first half of the game. Butler decided to not go for it, but Robinson takes the rebound. Tucker outside. Robinson going for three, triples good. PJ Tucker gets the assist. And it's now coming back down by three. What a great hustling feed out there. There might be some more to get some uh, another offense to take, the, to take their strength. They need some help out there. Wow, Tobias Harris got a lucky shot. And they are catching up away here by five. Hero outside. It's off the butler. Robinson outside. This is over to Tucker. Backing to Lowry. Elbow over Maxi. Another miss by Miami. Under a minute to play here in the first half. It is 27-22. And Beanie, forget about that. He makes another two-pointer release me. Man, this is a very tough one to try to keep it right here at the moment of time they've been waiting on it was a lot of a lot of a delicacy it's going to be a very tough one to go in between the attack Butler no problem here in the paint and it's six points leading up here for the score to trail by five Maxi on Lowry under 30 seconds to play in the first half of the game Harris on Butler the screen rechecks it off Butler going back in there, I mean, Tobias Harris, and he makes an easy throw. Another two-pointer for Dean Dane's control here for Philadelphia. Now Butler takes it out outside. Lowry going for three. The triple range, no good. Five seconds to shoot. Fiebel over Hero. Busby to make. Oh, my goodness, you can count that one in. Man, those teams are giving a hard time out there. The buzz beater was made, it was all that happened. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about when it was MB that did take it all. For, forget about him, we got a lot of them. Now let's send you over to DA for their sideline for the first half of the game. So, let's see what happens if there's a change up here in midside. David, take it away. Thanks very much. With Sixers coach Doc Rivers. Doc, you've got to be pleased with the play of Joel Embiid so far. He's right to right his attack early. He's making the right decisions. But overall, as a team, we're just nothing's free. Everything's slow. Maybe it's a pressure. But we have to do something about it. We'll see if that adjustment gets made, Doc. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, DA. And we'll be back. First half is concluded. The second half will be coming up after this. Let's see what they say for the first half of the game. Having an outstanding game. He had 12 points, two rebounds, and one assist. He's really stood out for them. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the 76ers? They were getting after it on the glass. Like, wow, they got a nice edge in that part. Which is rare to this week. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the threat. They went for the hand up. And my man was hand down, hand down. Oh, you got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shaq, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Thank you guys very much. And that should conclude the halftime show. Let's send you back to FTX Arena for the second half of the game. Guys? And thanks for tuning in for the NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals. It is now officially blowing out for the Sixers for tonight, looking for a chance to tie the game. And talking about the legendary one, we also have Joel Embiid. He's on a dominated run. He is on a, he's on a hot start here for tonight. He is on hot start. He's always under pressure. He is a, like a legendary star. 
but sometimes, however, it looks like Joel Embiid wants to improve even more to try to stop the attackers without trading the team. And forget about what they have called for. This was the only attack that they have always missed on for, for Kyle Lowry to pick up here for the real game. And it looks like it can be very tricky, too. Oh, whoa! Well, speaking of that one, Duncan Robinson delivers a dunk. Oh, the fans are definitely happy at that point. They love dunks. I can prove that Duncan Robinson was going to uh, get the dunk. He was on the fast break on a heavy run. Harden out to JMB. Six on the clock. They need to get some picks up drives. And going in is reach foul called on Jimmy Butler. His first personal first team foul delivers on Miami. And let's say that, uh, that Joel Embiid has recently played most of his career in this game. What is your take to take your honest opinions to try to maybe help them slow down? Oh man, I, I have nothing else to say about that about the uh, about that play here. That was like off the bad angle, but anyway, sorry about that one here. But um, it looks like before Joel Embiid was going to try to like do for his own position at time. He was helping out the players most of the work and the, and the epic energy. They might be showing things off here right at the moment of time. But when I give it off to a to a to a one of the world, maybe they maybe they know. That's all they have. To and speaking of that, I was able to uh, try to configure in between the situation the tall man players in between uh, Joel and B and Bam on a bio. They were always the very great. I, I have no idea who's the best here, so it can be very tricky. And the three pointer range for Jimmy Butler. Gives it up here to trail by four. Arden delivering the ball. Now their timeout will be occurred with 3.10 to go for Philadelphia. Excellent range out there. There is so much to uh, to increase their uh, their ability to have more power to their game out there. And they want to get back to work. And I know that it was very tricky to have them up. And I think that it could be the prediction here. I might be going for the Bucks and Miami Heat if they win the second round. In between the range. That can be really a good idea. The NBA 2K Sports of NBA Playoffs is brought to you for by your local Kia dealers. This is your Kia dealer today at the official vehicle of the NBA. Jason, the official watch here of the NBA. And by Ruffles, the official stack of a chip of the NBA. And speaking of this one right now, we got another new changeups here coming up. And with all we have here before, Miami Heat have already got taking out a big defeat here in the timing. The earlier range was not going to ease it up well. Because of that one, they've already lost here against the against the Washington Wizards here in season three. And that was a very occurrence in a bad situation that did turn out to be one of the upsettings of the game. In all it turns out, I know it was a very difficult, uh, difficult decision to make, but if I have a to go for Miami, well, they might have to go for Victor Oladipo made a three-pointer, and now they're really coming back in by three. Now Maxi on Oladipo, and Millsap will dish it up. Two-pointer in range, inbound in between. Three for Maxi. That's good. Outside the range, Millsap gets the assist. They're picking up the pacing out there. They're passing balls. They're going everywhere. Strauss back to Martin. Martin trying to pull back in there by stress to Lowry. <laughs> Only two minutes left here in the third quarter. Stress back to Lowry. Five to shoot. Two for Lowry. That goes off target and it's Corkmans with the with the rebound. Maxi. Trying to hold on tight. Attention back to Millsap. And up he goes. The layup drive will not connect. And stepped out of bounds was Kyle Lowry. Oh boy, this was going to be a very, very tough one. 
Now this all happens? This was no good. New players are making some changes here as Court Boz and Green are checked in for Maxi. Lowry dishes out and Tyler Hero is checked in. He finds Cork Moss. Just a minute and 45 to go. And a green shot won't be ticking up away. Not Puck loose. Nia hasn't got a ball. And a reach and foul is called by Tyler Hero. They wanted to stop the play in order to make some new changes here on defense. Yeah, they wanted to stop that clock there, all because of what happens. They have a lot of situations to try to mess things up. This was no good with the plan. They need some help here to try to stop them by. James Harden delivering a number two in a layup drive. And it's Green with the assist. Now they're going back to back insane in their runs here. Can be a very tough idea. Bam Adebayo watches the rebound. He gets it back and he says, I don't think that's you so. Here's the point for uh, for the two-pointer here for Miami. Harden right outside. This is off to Corkmans. Now Millsap. He dishes back to Corkmans. In the middle, Niang. And he takes it two. What an open feed by Corkmans delivering the assist. This was going to be a very tough one. Now this is going to be a breakout run. It looks like they're trying to stop the pressure and then get back in the game. They don't want to quit here in Philadelphia. And another miss here by, by, by the Miami of Victor Oladipo. Here's Harden finding over is a two, and this one is knocked out. Martin, Oladipo inside. Oh my goodness. Victor Oladipo gets a dunk. And it's a, and it's a stress with the assist. They've got numbers here. Looking for another dunk here. He's the killer. Six to shoot now. Corkmans delivers the screen. Corkmans for three. Good! And that takes up the triple range. Hero up at the half court shot. He just couldn't make it in time as this ends up the third quarter. The Sixers are looking for a chance to tie the game in the series. Fourth quarter is coming up right after the break. And a chance now to resent your State Farm assist of the game. They all have another one. In between the range out shots, there is a lot of chances out there. Look at that. The drive was putting in there right behind. And that was a great uh, figuration for freaking Quirk Boss to deliver it. I know this was a total agreement here. They got a great status out there. They try to hit their run on the board. And if you're just tuning into the fourth quarter, we got the fourth quarter coming up right now, and we start the game. The Skirt Gatorade courtesy lineup all filled up and ready to go. James Harden on point guard, and it's Joel Embiid in center. Matisse Flyball in a small forward, but it's Tobias Harris in the point forward, and Joel Embiid right from the center, along with Tyrese Maxey in point guard. The shooting guard in range. Sorry about that. But that's all I have. That's it. I'll know a foul has been recalled here on Miami. And they're getting another two free throws here for the Sixers to try to answer back. And also take the tie of this series. Harden makes the first free throw. The always man knows. He knows his nickname. The beard man of the MVP. That's all I can figure it out. The simulation in between of this one of James Harden and the other guys were, don't have the uh, longest beard here at the moment. This is all that happened here before during the game of the regulation. Well, it's definitely a hard one here. Well, you'll never know. This one might be coming out here just as they got. Now, Tyler Hero will swing it off to Robinson. This back to Hero. Oladipo going for three. Good! Outside the triple is Hero with the assist. That's a great help on the feet. Wow. Now he knows that Tyler Hero is going to first assist here for the night. Harden right to Green. It's off to Embiid. Embiid going over Tucker. The two-pointer can't hit the free throw on the mark. Miami trailing by eight. Butler inside, gets it to go, and they're coming back in by six. This 
one is a tough breakout run. Look at the way that the players have. They have some a lot of a strength in numbers here to try to hit them off your run for Miami Power. Wow, James Harden delivers the dunk. They are putting a scoring drive of motion now in the offense. That was all he had. This was a tempest making of believing. Miami can't hit the number three pointer. And Harris will dish it out back again to Harden. Now MB rolls up, face shot, good! That's the number two pointer releases. And Embiid's got 10 of 20. 20 points, could be going for a new record here for tonight. Robinson, the three pointer connects. And they're coming back in. Just about three, 10 to go here in the fourth period of the quarter. Green rushes off to MB. Tucker on him, trying to whoop his way around, spin move, oh my goodness! I can't believe that Joel Embiid just got it in time! I know, because now he's not done yet. And a nice D here by Joel Embiid. Now Harden on the outside. Trying to slam it back. Harden slaps back for three. The three-pointer can't hit to go. Robinson. Hero dishing outside. He finds Butler, and a great feed by Tyler Hero. Butler's got 15 points, just 2.25 to go. They need to get going, or else they won't have enough time to try to think about it ahead. They gotta figure this out along the zone in between the attacks. Matisse Bible can't make the two. E.J. Tucker right back to Oladipo. Moves back to Robinson. Three for Hero. Hey, back to Oladipo. Tucker with the screen. Two up. The old man, this one's a tough ranging inbound. Another miss by Miami. Yeah, the fans are not even going to like it. This was all that happened to be here before, and that did turn out to be a shocker on the donut. Up and two. Good for Embiid. Timeout called by Miami. It's now Embiid. 22 points. Relieve me. This is all that happened to be here. And for Butler and the team, they got to get another drink and they got to go for another attack. The attack to attack zone was not carrying out to terrific here for those teams, but it was all that turned out to be a, a craziness of the turnovers in between three and two of Sixers and the Heat. And I can bet on that one here. All the players are getting it very good. Very good so far. And I know that Jimmy Butler was going to try to hit strong, but their team is like losing control. Mm, man, this was a very tough one to get right in by. It can be very tricky to try to set their score up to hit on by. And now, with postings off here, we have the New Balance player of the game for game two. And the postseason for two goes out to the beard man of James Harden. James Harden really has gotten some a good skill. Now, he wants his revenge for tonight and wants to uh, sweep things up to show how it's done. To answer it back, this was all that happened to be here before. Now, there isn't any changes up here in between those two. But it's going to be very close out range. And I get, I would expect that James Harden would be going for a two-pointer average to hit the lead. But it may be very hard enough to make it possible. Miami Heat trailing by six. Harden on Kyle Lowry after a change by Tyler Hero. Maxi, watch outside. And beat over on a bio. The two-pointer can't hit the go. Tucker right to Butler. He drives it over. Lowry inside. Two pointers good. And Butler takes the assist. They're coming down by three. And but down by four, I admit. This was very tough range out there. Lowry's doing a great job. Butler with a great communication skills. They're going to need to try to go for it again. Two pointer again for Embiid. Oh man, oh man. He now delivers a 20 points here for the game. And this quarter was eight. And a steal. Bad rejection here. 
Maxi rebounded by Robinson. Back to Tucker. Right over to Butler. Now the fans are standing up. They're strong and mighty. Tucker wants to go for it. The rebound is up on Harden. And now they are going to call a foul here. Only 36.4 seconds in the fourth quarter. The next one will be one on two shots coming in for Philadelphia. He finds him. Maxi outside. Got to almost take the steal. Harden will have to deliver it. Harden outside. They need to try to foul him right away. And this one will be calling the foul for Robinson to try to stop the game clock here for the next foul. Duncan Robinson hasn't picked up a foul yet, but now they will have to go to the free throw line for two on one. Trust me, those players are very tired right now in between the uh, game bursts of the uh, of the playoffs that they played. And I know what causes problems. The all players definitely gotten a lot of strange workness in, in between. And with all the man and average, they've got a lot of heavy working in between the actions. The zone, it could be trouble. Miami's a nightmare right now in game two. All of a sudden right now, it looks like that the Sixers are going to try to pick up the wing here to revenge himself. And a second free throw counts for Harden. The last time I will be occurred on Miami, as they will make some one more change up here on offense before the game two of the, of the show. game clock expires. Coming up next, we have is the Bucks and Celtics here at Pfizer Forum as Son of Beast will be standing by here in Milwaukee. And with that being said, back down there, he will also be joining us here with Test Tube and Fan. That will be right along the other side of the range. I can go for a number of attackers here to, uh, to show how it's done. Following up next game will be the Warriors and Memphis Grizzlies here coming up after the Eastern Conference games are over on the other side. No timeouts here for Philadelphia, and Miami Heat will, just, will try to cover things up on the board. Robinson going for three, and the rebound is picked up here by Nian, and the clock is coming down to the end. Milton will close things off here, and now he will have a chance to step back. And game two comes up to be the win for Philadelphia. They win the second game, 61 to 53. What a chance out there. They tried really hard, but that's all it does turn out. And that can be a concluding game of the night. He'll be back here in game three here in Philadelphia. And now to close things off, we send you down to David Aldridge on the sideline for the game reporter for the New Balance player of the game. Dave? Thanks very much, Joel. Quality night offensively. How do you evaluate your performance? Uh, Efficiency-wise, I've been struggling a little bit lately, so, you know, this game was about just letting the game come to me. Uh, and I felt like I did love my teammates. So, I mean, we got through, we got to win. That's the most important thing. Winning ugly is better than losing pretty, right? Congrats. Thanks. Back to you. All right there, David. Thank you very much for your time. And now to close things off will be three star players of the game. The next game will be coming up after the intermission. And then we will kick things back here for Son of Beast and Fan and Test Tube. Along here on the sideline will be Ali LaForce here for the uh, game coverage here. And now to close things off, three star players of the game. Silver Spoon, take it away. Thank you very much here. And uh, coming up in number three, we have is Jimmy Butler. Always made a great chance here. He made 18 points, two rebounds, an amazing one block authority on Embiid. Wow, it's, it's very good uh, timing. And one assist. Turned out to be just like him before. Number two, we kick this off to Paintbrush. Thank you so much, dear Rami Fun. The next one that does give out a little bit heavy out there, it was going to be a tough one. But not for long, James Harden received 16 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal, including 2 dunks. He was a heat maker. He's looking for a chance to take the lead here in Game 3, but we will be back here shortly to do this thing again. And now you close off here, me fun, for number one. Thank you so much. Number one, this all does turn out to be the process of, sorry, the process of MB here of 20 points, three rebounds, one assist, and one dunk. Well, that should conclude here for the game. 
Well, it's definitely tough enough to be alongside your crew to see the reaction, but this was this was always going to count that one as followed. So, thank you for watching, and with being said, the series is tied up now for Philly and Miami. The next game is coming up right after the intermission. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and peace out everyone for a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. This has been a presentation of the conference semifinals of the NBA playoffs. We'll see you next time for another game. Take care, folks, and have a good night.